I think f fundamentally it's, it's about putting customers in control. So it's moving from a transactional relationship to a more emotional, deeper relationship. So as an example, moving from you receive a bill from your energy provider, such as British Gas, to being able to understand it and being able to, to do something about it. So potentially change the way you consume gas or electricity. So that's one example. In terms of Hive and Hive Active Heating, it's putting them totally in control both within the home and outside the home. So over half of our customers use the service actually inside their home to turn the thermostat on and off. Um, so they, they love it from that point of view because it, it gives them a much richer experience. I think the key elements were really about how to make the connected homes a reality. So what, what I was talking about today was about our approach, that we're a lean startup, working in London as a separate business, but working very closely with British Gas to make it a reality for our customers. So that's using the brand, using British Gas as a channel to communicate with our customers and the engineering capability where they know the home much better than anybody else in the UK to actually install products and services. So, so I was going to say it's a fusion of all those that starts to make it a reality, but fundamentally approaching the connected home from a very different angle. So the, the obvious things from a, a British gas point of view in terms of relationship is, is gas and electricity. And that's where customers r really asking for us for assistance. So that's our primary focus. Will we develop a portfolio of products? Absolutely. Will we work with other organizations to help bring those products and services, some of which may be branded Hive, some of which may not, into the home to help customers? Again, absolutely. So we're a platform play that's very open about bringing this connected home to life. I think you have to appreciate, for me, the connected home is a, is a classic, if you look at a classic marketing curve, it's early adopter territory. So what we see today is, you know, it's, it's technology led and it's tech early adopters who are buying the product. We position certainly Hive, it's around convenience and control rather than cost savings. But interestingly, customers are generating significant cost savings out of it. Um, as that matures and as people understand that more, I think more customers will start to come on board. You know, as I said today, we're over 100,000 customers on Hive Active Heating. We're over 500,000 now on Smart Energy Report. So we're reaching a scale that people start to become aware of it and it starts to go more mass market. So it's, it's an, a classic market maturity issue, I would, I would argue. For me, coming to, to IoT World Forum, um, it's been fantastic. Why? One of her some really dynamic and interesting speakers, and it's only halfway through first, first day. And secondly, I've met a load of colleagues and, and friends to catch up with, which I don't normally get the opportunity to do. So from a networking perspective, it's been brilliant as well. I'm also meeting a load of new people who are really fascinating in terms of their business models. So it's, it's a win-win-win as far as I'm concerned.